using a quotation. A quotation can be something you have read in a book or an article. It can also be something that you have heard, a popular saying or proverb, never give advice to a friend or a current, a current or recent advertising slogan. Can you hear me now? Or a favorite expression used by friends or family. My father always says, Using a quotation in your introductory paragraph lets you add someone else's voice to your own. Now you see, you are very familiar with this technique using quotations. You always use in presentations and, and uh, whenever you uh, uh, post a Facebook post or something like that, you love quotations. So in this particular technique, you, you are supposed to use a quotation. Fish and visitors, wrote Benjamin Franklin, begin to smell after three days. Last summer, when my sister and her family came to spend their two-week vacation with us, I became convinced that Franklin was right. After only three days of my family's visit, I was thoroughly sick of my brother-in-law's lame jokes, my sister's endless complaints about her boss, and their children's constant invasions of our privacy. Now, if you see this, the quotation is related to the idea the writer is putting forward. The writer says that after three days, <clears throat> after three days, uh, she was sick. And then she talks about what made her sick of of all those relations. For example, brother-in-law's lame jokes, sisters and endless, endless complaints about her boss and the children's constant invasions. Now in this particular case, if you see, the writer has merged the thesis statement with the plan of development. So this is also a way of writing a thesis statement that you write your opinion and then you merge it with the plan of development. So. There are three ways we discussed about thesis statement. Uh, thesis statement and then plan of development separately. Thesis statement is given, plan of development is missing. But again, uh, uh, for our college writing, it is good that you include one. However, there is a, there is a capacity, there is, there is some space that you can leave. The third, that you merge thesis statement and plan of development. Right. So you see the writer is started off with a quotation related to the concept, the main idea of the paper, of the of the of the essay. And then writer gave her uh, actually own experience and related it both things. If you see the last line in, in you can use quotation in your introductory paragraph. Uh, to aid someone else's voice to your own. Your voice, the writer's voice is that she was sick of uh, the guests, the people, the relations, and then he or she is taking, uh, uh, taking the idea of Benjamin Franklin, his words in order to support uh, his or her point.